Welcome back to the Tracy Board Studio. My name is Jeremy Tracy of Tracy Boards, and what you are about to witness is yet another match between Mackenzie and I. I'm not sure when this video is going to be released, but at the time of this recording, yesterday was Mackenzie's birthday. So one gift I've got for him for his birthday is to not sing happy birthday to him, but the second gift is, I mean, seriously, what better gift could there be than getting to play Corpinole? period but I mean, best. with me right On the so job. what we're going to do rather than just play we are going to after our video about the different scoring options we had some different opinions so in this match Mackenzie and I are going to play with the traditional scoring method so we'll explain that as we go through and then I have my opinion on which one I prefer traditional versus NCA scoring but that's that's an opinion coming from someone who loves the competitive NCA Corpinal scene. So when we're done, I'd like to get your input. You've played both ways, mm. and you're more of a, a beginner player. Is that fair to say? It's very fair. So the other thing we're going to do in order to make this a little more competitive is I've got a bit of a handicap going on. Uh, Mackenzie's going to be playing with eight buttons while I'm playing with seven. So if you're watching closely, you'll notice that he starts every round and also ends every round. He's got that extra button, and like I say, we're going to use that traditional scoring. Uh, I believe, though, before we get started, Mackenzie has a request, something that he would like for his for his birthday. So you want to you want to share that? Well, if you'd like, if you find this valuable in any way, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more valuable crocodile. That's what I would like for my birthday. That's your birthday gift. Tell you what, as soon as we're done here, I'm gonna go to my computer and subscribe to your channel that you Thank do you. all the editing work for. So you are welcome, sir. All right, so. Love it. Are you ready? It's currently zero, zero. Why don't you kick us off? So and I think last time I did some coaching, but you know, I'm not, feel, I'm not sure I'm feeling it today. We'll, we'll course, decide as we go. I'll coerce some okay. coaching out of you. No worries. Is that, that is a valid shot, because he's just touching the line. See, that's true skill. Oh, okay. And I didn't set my chair properly, so. Do you want to adjust it now? Adjust I'm fine it. with that. Legal. We don't have our 20s camera today, but uh, I think you'll get the idea. Mm hmm. So, I said I wasn't going to coach, but at this point, you're down to 20. So, even though you have hammer, if I were you, you either want to get in to try to get a 20 to even the 20 count, or you want to try to hide, whichever you think right. you're better set up for. Or, do you remember the ricochet video? Yeah. Yeah. Time to ricochet. Miss completely. Capitalizes. I'm going to go for a ricochet just to get back in the house. Especially, like, if we were playing NCA scoring, I'd be more inclined to stay outside because there's no there's no benefit to trying to pad my score. But with traditional scoring, I want to get as many points as I possibly can by the time we're done. So, that's off. Yep. Nice. And a bit of a tough shot down Hogan's Alley. We've got a Hogan's Alley video too. Hogan's maybe you'll Alley, uh, yeah. maybe you'll pop a link up here somewhere. To probably uh, over there. <laughs> Pro above your head. Okay. Now, which one are you going to try to ricochet off of, or what? What are you trying to do? I'm going to get a twenty. Okay. Nice try. Close. Now, have we done a video on drop back 20s? I think we did, didn't we? Drop back? Yes. Drop back 20. Yes. Okay, because that's what I'm going for here. The video Listen. we have in the library ready to go is the follow through 20. We haven't filmed that yet. We haven't filmed Okay, you said it's in the library like it's recorded it's, and it's ready to go. It's in the idea bank. Okay. Is actually right. what I meant to say. Well, yeah, it, it's one that everybody wants, and it is so tough to explain. We're still working through how we're going to do the right. best we can of teaching that shot. Because it's magical. Oh, it's magical it. to watch a good player do follow-throughs. So this is your final shot. Uh, I, I feel your best 
is going to be to get that off. So if I were you, I'd try to put it through here and keep your shooter in the in the 15. I don't feel there's a great opportunity for a 20 there. If you can create one, that's awesome, but. <laughs> okay, so. That's a hole I've dug. I, uh, I don't think that could have gone much worse for you. <laughs> well, I did get it out of the 50. You okay, there is that. All right, all right. Yep, Come good on. valid points. So that comes down. So you've got, I've got 20 on the board as well as 40 in the 20 cup. So over here on my handy dandy pad. Bit of quick maths. Mackenzie is zero and Jeremy is 60. Yeah. Oh, I think we've got a video about that too. The benefits of the, of the round table. Round table. The Knights of the Round Table. Okay. All Best right. of the comeback season. Now. Okay. You, you know what it was? The TSN turning point of the game. I forgot to do this. Ah, okay. Basically. Wow. Can't have any one-upmanship going on. Woo! I'm hot. Nice. Thank you. Good shot. Even in the 20 count. Rolls in. You are on fire now, good sir. Oh! If you were to come from here, you may be able to come off that for a 20. Uh, there's also the chance of you setting me up, so okay. do what you feel, do what feels right for you. Hmm. I am not going to get the off. I am trying for a touch 20. And missing it. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Making me think. That's a good thing. What's wrong with that? Oh, you're grabbing water. All right. Hydrate. That's your crokinole. By the way, the I looked this. I told Jeremy this was a gallon. It's actually half a gallon. Okay. That. And I had a lot of confidence when I said it. Yep. <clears throat> That's why I almost believed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So do you best. remember the you remember the host rule, right? That it. Yep. Right. Exactly. Mackenzie dropped a 20 on my behalf, so it still counts for me, but he has to put it in his 20 cup. That's a house rule, not an NCA rule. Shameful. 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 I'm going to try for a double. What do you think? Is it going to happen? It's legal. It's legal? It's legal. Oh, should I get greedy? And a 20. Nope. Okay. Mangled it. That's what happens when you get greedy. Unreachable. Ooh. Rough. Hammer? Hammer. This is what I'd like to point out that if you hadn't given me a 20, it'd be actually a you'd close. be in better shape right now. <laughs> oh, nice. So, 40. Five for me. You've got 45 and I've got 60, which means Quick I maths. gain 15. Quick maths. Mackenzie is zero. And Jeremy is 75. 75 nothing? 75 zero. Why don't you start this round? 75 hard. Okay. I could be in trouble. You keep draining these 20s, get in 20 races, and you get one more button. By the way, from earlier, name that movie line. Is it legal? I'll make it legal. Mm, don't know that movie. It's, you got me stumped. It's going to be difficult. Put it in the comments. I don't know. Too strong, then. Fucking bored. I, I noticed that, too. Am I going to have to demonstrate a table smash? What? 
You edited the video. You know the repercussions for waxing your disc. Come on, man. <laughs> the table smash. Those were fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm down to 20, and you've got hammer. Uh, I'm kind of, I gotta make something happen here. I need some points. Do you though? I think so. Oh. Just. I think probably the biggest thing I'm seeing Mackenzie today is uh, a little too much power. Like this one here, yeah. your last shot at last round. Totally. If you just do it a little softer. Although shooting through the buttons can be easier to shoot hard, um, but a little bit softer, you would have hit and stick, and you would have had uh, you would have had ten points left on the board instead of five. But uh, yeah, I agree. It's easy to be an armchair athlete and just point out what you did wrong after the fact. But nice, that okay. was a great shot getting back into the center. Set you up for twenty. There is that, but uh, it was still a nice angle in. The skill was great, even if the strategy was perhaps flawed. Subpar. Double? Definitely. Wow. We need to play more. I know. Double? Shoot. I keep saying it eventually. Yeah. yeah. Hammer. Oh, uh, can you get two and a 20? Yeah. Still so, winning. you have ten on you have ten on the board. So what I do when I do this, so just leave that there for a second. What I do when I when the round ends like this, you've got a fifteen and I've got a five. I'll put a finger on each one and slide them each down a category. Smart. So then you've got ten plus twenty is thirty. I've got forty, so I gain ten more. Eighty-five. I'm in a true hole. 85 zip, and uh, why don't you start this round? Okay. That joke will never get old for me, just so we're clear. You're just start doing it back to me. Uh, I can't. Rather than a table smash war. <laughs> I'm still double hungry. You don't touch yes. that. You yes. don't touch that. I get to pull that out and it's the look of shame. Shameful. Shameful. Again, not an NCA rule, a Tracy household rule. When you sink a 20 for your opponent, you've got to put it in your 20 cup. Ooh. Love it. Remember the, what video am I thinking of now? Rick and a tight squeeze. Ooh, okay, yeah. Put the squeeze on Ricochet. So the guy who, who was in that video, which I think was me, if he's to be believed, if I can get past that, I should have a very good chance of a 20. Maybe he lied. Don't know. Lies. So, if you keep things over there, We're good. It's, it's it's good for you because you've got hammer. Yeah. So two things, if you keep it over there, and two, if you keep those your two buttons, keep some distance between your two buttons. Like if you hit that and roll here, my chances of getting a double are a lot higher than if you keep some distance between your buttons. I really wish I hadn't have told you that. Now what I'm trying to do is get rid of yours and get mine over closer to your other one mm -hmm. to set up, and I didn't do it. If I had missed that peg and come over further to set up for a future double was my was my thinking. Okay. This is a much better plan with a lead. Isn't it fun? All right. So we got this new toy. I told him I'd give him a shout out. Um, Kenneth Harkin gave me uh, gave us the suggestion. I think he posted in the NCA group of uh, this laser light helps you look. So we're going to use it in a more official video, but just now it made me think of it um, to have this light. And then, so this is what I want to do. 
we may redo this video because I did it a while ago where you go half hole which means you want your disc to only go over half of that center hole because if you try to shoot straight over top of it you'll catch bunny hop all kinds of weird and wonderful things but uh, so now I'm just using this light to go huh yeah I got a pretty good line there I can just that's basically where I want the middle of my button to go does that make sense? Mackenzie? Yeah, the only issue is you can barely see it on the camera. Oh, is that right? <laughs> oh, okay. But there you get the idea. We may have to try that again with a non gray rock board to see if it shows up better. Yep. You let me talk that long when it can't even be yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Can you make sure that that doesn't get seen either? <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, shoot. All right. If I were you, I'd come out around your other one. Yeah. Just get over make, there. Get your ass behind yourself. It's going to make it challenging. Again, a little softer, and you could have stayed in the 10. True. As it is, we've each got a 20 over here. The one that I sunk for myself and the one that I sunk for you. Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to cancel those out. So you're left with what's on the board? 10, 15, 20. And Mackenzie is on the board with 20 points. Very pleased. So just so we're clear, your actual birthday gift was me letting you take points. Yep. <laughs> clear. I am totally joking. Clear. Um, you see. Even when the boys were like toddlers, I did not let them win. Any any games or points they won, they won fair and square. So 85-20, but now I'm mad, so. The comeback. Mm, needed that. Oh. It's another birthday gift. Nice, he capitalizes. Which, uh, what are you trying to do? Double. Okay. Th that's probably not going to end well, actually. Well, you're you're going pretty c like the angle you're at. If you're either you're running the risk of hitting that peg, or if you do miss, you're running a risk of your shooter coming here. Yeah. Instead of here. So if you're going to go for more that, likely more likely go for a twenty here. Uh, you, yep, you could do that. Um, or or how, if you how can I the get same this one because that's going to be hard to get. It is. Um, that's, could I? No, no, I couldn't. What I'm thinking is like your idea that you have isn't bad. I would just change the angle a little bit, so that when you're you're that way you're le one you're less likely to hit this peg, and two you're going to come off it at a better angle to make contact with this one. Now that's my thinking, but there's no guarantee. If this goes sideways, it's on you. No, for sure. <laughs> oh, it's just happening too often where mine ends up. Out of play. Not the time for that. Alright, another try. I feel bad. I kind of feel bad, but it's not really in my nature, so you just gotta win. Double fall through twenty. Oh, that was a great shot. It was close. So that leaves you with ten on the board for a total of thirty. Because if you do this, you've got thirty. I've got sixty. Another thirty for me, which means the win. The win. The win. Um, what? Uh, and how many did I have? Twenty. Two hundred. Two hundred fifteen. Not bad. Yeah. Generally, when you play traditional scoring, you just keep accumulating scores, and whoever reaches a hundred first is the winner. Um, so yeah, we ended up. Normally, when we play NCA scoring, you would play four rounds, two points per round. 
Um, but in this case, what we ended up playing in order for one of us to get to 100 was five rounds. Mm -hmm. People that are really evenly matched, it could take them longer, but um, yeah, so totally, I have no attachment to your answer. As a person who's newer to Crokinole, doesn't hasn't been to the NCA, doesn't have that influence, um, how do the two scoring systems compare? Like, do you have a preference? Personal preference definitely would be the tournament style. Okay. Um, Why? Feels more competitive to me. Okay. For for for, for whatever reason. Yeah. Competitive person and like less having a series or playing to nine or that type of thing. Yeah. That's that's what I would gravitate to for sure. Okay. I don't um, know why though. Yeah, it was interesting because somebody commented on our video, I can't think of his name right now, I probably should have this printed off so I could reference the, the gentleman, or the person, I yeah, I can't remember who it was, period, but um, they were basically talking about some of the pros as they saw it to traditional scoring and some of the cons as they saw it to NCA scoring. And one of the things they talked about was with NCA scoring, all you're trying to do is win the round. So if you're in control, you end up playing defensive and you're hiding buttons on your side of the table when the opportunities present themselves rather than going, rather than playing more aggressively and going for more 20s. They felt like you would see more, um, yeah, just more offense, more aggressiveness, more um, offensive play because there was that potential to maybe score 80 points on your opponent rather than mm -hmm. just win the two points of the round. Um, I, I understand what they were saying and that they were even, I've got to look at it closer, but they were talking about, they had a proposal, which I really appreciate because when somebody says, oh, I don't like this, but they don't have a suggestion of something better, then it's kind of like, th this, this person was uh, making a suggestion about there was a, the potential for a hybrid between the two. Um, I need to look closer at that and, and once I understand it, maybe we'll play again and use that kind of scoring because uh, without having experienced it, I, it, it would be hard to say. Um, I do know that one of the massive benefits of the NCA scoring is just it fits so much better for a tournament setting where you've got multiple games going on at the same time. But um, I feel like you're uh, you're warming up over there. I'm trying to. So um, I have a challenge for you. How are we doing for time? Oh, you're smiling. Um, challenge. challenge. How about we play again? I get my eighth button back. And the handicap we'll play with this time is I am not allowed to shoot a direct open 20. If the board is yeah. open, I have to hit a peg first. It's 250. Oh, never mind. I read that. Turn around. Nope, we're good. So, no, you I'm good. You don't get nine buttons to my eight. Okay. Okay. We're playing. So, we're now playing again. Still with traditional scoring. Does that sound good? Yes. And um, this time it will be, we will take turns. like as Counting more, to 100. Counting to 100. Traditional scoring. Counting to 100, and uh, we will take turns starting because we are even and buttons this time. Okay. So match number two, this will give you another opportunity to experience the traditional scoring. You, sir, are becoming a bit of a wax hog. Did I reach to your half of the board? I don't care. I have lots of wax. All right, so uh, can you toss me a button? Something else we'll demonstrate here. One of the, we got another video idea in the hopper of all the different ways you can decide who's going first. But here's the simplest one. I've got one button of each color in my hand. Whichever color he chooses first, that's who will start. I start. So, so as, the, as the handicap, our handicap rules that him and I have agreed on, our house rules for this match is that I am not allowed to shoot a direct open 20. I have to hit a peg or else it's not a valid shot. All other rules will remain the same. So uh, if I'm able to, if I'm able to go off of your button and into the twenty, I don't have to hit a pad. That's valid. It's yeah. just when it's uh, an open board. Ooh, I might have one here. We'll see. Oh yeah! Nice. nice. Hurt my shoulder patting myself on the back. Nice. That's where I'm in deep though. The dagger. Oh! There is the follow-through twenty. 
I don't know how you can do that. Like, I haven't done the video tip yet. How did you do that? It's by accident. Oh, that was an accident. Uh, that's the other pro tip is never, ever admit that something was an accident. No matter what happens, go calculate Oh, calculate it. Uh, not whatever happens. That's known as the Super Steve. Super Steve. Mmm. The door opens. Well, here's why this is good because, yeah, normal 20s, like you'd be in a lot of trouble. Big time. Yeah, I like this handicap actually. You can't just shoot an open 20. I'm glad one so of us simple. likes it. <laughs> oh. So? You have 40, 55, mm. I have 20. So Mac is up 35 points to zero. I can't even remember what the, oh, the other, I was trying to think, if you win this one, we may have to have a rubber match and what was the final um, handicap we did, but that was shooting left-handed. I'm, oh, not, yeah. sure. I'm oh, not sure, yeah, that's... I'm, I'm not sure uh, I want to play that handicap against you here. You're getting better. Have you been watching Crokinole Skills Tips videos? Well, I warm up <laughs> after watching videos. <laughs> Just uh, right through the house. You recognize that? I do, a little bit of hiding. A little bit of self-assist. Uh, I did not notice that. I didn't do it very well because I didn't, well, there might be a 20 there. It's going to be a skinny shot. Wow, nice. nice. Yeah, I go patting myself in the back again. I apologize. It's a self-assist. You're going to try to go through your own? Only option. Respect. Just. Just beside. Valid. Is your strategy to get the center so jammed up that I can't hit a peg? Essentially. Nice. Yes. Ugly. I should have had that. That was a great try. Close. Still didn't get that one off. It's, it's hanging on. It's a cling on. Oh, that. Just. That was another great try, man. That was a drumming. Yes. That's what they call a drum. 15, 30, 40, and 40 is 80, line of sheer 5, so I get 75 points. And what do I have? 35. Okay. That was, uh, I was worried, like, when you, when you worried, like, uh, yeah, scar my reputation by you spanking me, but I, I feel a little better about myself now. My self-worth is totally wrapped up in whether I can beat you a or not. <laughs> All right, well, just don't get a 20 off the bat. Be nice. Oh! I'm going to go back to this approach. Right. You're right, it's just too powerful. Your shot. All day. You've been working out, haven't you? There's too much iron pumping. Meant to get mine a little more behind the peg. Dang. Right? 
Nice. Okay. All right. Needed that. All done. Pretty low scoring round. <laughs> Nothing going on. Oh, great shot. That was really good. So you get another 15. Yeah, I don't think I was going to be able to get a 20 there because the peg. Yeah, I didn't think, I didn't you, think you would either. Um, I was surprised how close it came to the center hole. What some people would do, and I don't remember exactly where you were, but what some people will do if they don't have a clear line to it is they'll line up and attempt to catch this peg and come back. That's very advanced, obviously, but uh, so yeah, you yeah, got. I could have done that. You got fifteen points on that round, so that is um, seventy-five for me, fifty for you. It's one of the great things about these different handicaps is that um, I didn't know what would make this match between you and I today. Uh, I didn't know what would make this competitive. This so, handicap is much better than than the last one. I think so. Yeah. Yep. I much would agree. Yeah, and like, and if I was still really, if I was really still just feeding it to you every time, um, we could combine the two. It could be seven buttons for me, and I have to hit the post. Um, that sounds great. Combine handicap. All right. Well, let's see what happens here with this one. Your go. Uh, yours. That teetered. That teetered. I saw it. Oh, that's ugly. Ah, that's what I wanted. Get you outside. Back in. Well done. Oh, that could have been worse. You could have stayed on there. Or could have could have gone off. Gone off. This is almost the exact same. Wow. Oh. Is this board regulation? I think so. What uh, what movie is that from? It was a modification, obviously. It stumped me now. No, nah, it's Happy Gilmore when he takes the big slap shot. And it misses the net. Is that net regulation? Is that regulation? Yeah. Now, you're definitely going to want to touch 20 here because you don't want to sacrifice yours. So, yeah. That was a great try. Ten. You have hammer? Yeah, buddy. I forgot. So, if I can get a follow through 20, I win the game. Or I could do that. And get points. Ten off. points. Oh, no, no, 15 points. So I'm 90. These would be off. 15. Yeah. That beats me from 75 up to 90. 90 to 50. My yeah, I'm doing way better this time. My start, your hammer. Okay. All right. Nice. See, that's what it like. If you can get to make me pay when I make a mistake like that, that's huge. Sorry. I could show you a line on the board that nobody watching at home would be able to see. 
see. Once it goes into the light, they can't see it here. Yeah. You can see a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. your other option would be here, but I actually think you've got the you've got the space there. Ooh. The space is there. Just shoot it through the space. Drive a truck yes. through there, man. No. That's a mistake that could not be afforded. How am I supposed to hit a peg? Just wanted to go right and hit that one first. You sir have some cleaning up to do. Nope. That leaves me with thirty because you've got a twenty, so these two pens cancel. Leaves me with thirty points. It only seems right that we now combine. One more game. I think we should combine. Yep. So basically, uh, the idea is we keep combining handicaps until you win. So, um, yeah. So I'm going down to seven buttons. So this is round match number three, and uh, this is this is as nice as I get. So please take advantage of it. Eight on seven. You can't hit an open twenty. I can't hit a straight open twenty. I have to hit a peg. And you're up. No, you are because. I agree. You have no. <laughs> Because you have eight buttons, and I only have seven. Oh, now I think that you just kind of oh, took your foot off the throttle at the end of the last one oh, to yeah. goat me into this. From one shot. <laughs> oh, that's smooth. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> that's what we call a twin at my house. Wow, I got a little lucky there. I mean, calculated. Oof. Nice try. Such a weird one. Nice spot. Nice. Do you have any shot at a double? Not really. No. When I look at something like that, I just wonder, like, can you go for a twenty? Can you go for a double without any extra risk? The answer may be no. There's no. But it, but in a situation like there that, is if you a look double. and go, there is a double. With, but it's so skinny on this peg. Yeah. Okay. So you would be taking the extra risk of potentially hitting this. Correct. Then yeah. Right over the twin hole. Twenty. Twenty points for old Mac Daddy. And why don't you start this round? Go back to that joke never getting old for me. Yep. Right in. That's you. Get out of town. That's another movie line. Uh, that was a mistake on my part. I should have got the off. Oh! Wow, that almost spun in. Oh, why not? Nope. It's not quite there. Call your mother. Yes, sir. I was talking to me. That was my mother. I knew I'll need to call her back. It's supposed to be a double. So, you've got hammer. 
we're tied in the 20s. You could play it like if you bring it into the center, you're running the risk of setting me up. So you could play, sure. yeah. No matter what you do, I'm going to try to make something out of nothing, but you could make it very difficult for me. I'd like to get the 20, but I also like the off, so. Wow. And I got neither one. Wow, that was so close to the 20. Though. Now, look at that. Which one of those do you right think here. you can end up in the 10? Right here is a, a 20. Oh. I thought my eyes were big. Well, the peg was in the way. <laughs> Weird. So, that leaves you with another 15 points. So you are 35, I remain zero. All is right with the world. Mm -hmm. That is enough of that. Fancy. I'm coming off this peg to kick myself in the butt. Yes. So if I were you, just before you shoot, if I were you, I would try to move that back a little bit. Obviously, you don't want to knock it all the way off, but if you leave it there, then it's a nice easy 20 for me next time. Especially with this format that uh, yeah. I can't go for an open 20. Bugger. I got to work on my ricochets. Nice. See my, uh, so you've got 10 points because we're even in the 20 cups. So you've got 10 points, but just before mm -hmm. my second last, my last shot when you were here like this, my goal was to knock you off and roll out because I definitely didn't want to come this way. I didn't want to, op I wanted to make it difficult for you to be able to roll into anything better. It was a very really difficult shot at the end. Yeah. Because you um, placed it out there. Yeah. And it, I also mm -hmm. ran the risk of knocking myself right off the board, but yeah. It was a strategic risk. Oh, let's play seven buttons on seven this round. How would that be? It's not good. Mm. I like that, except that you stayed on. Wow, nice. Drive a truck through there. That's a John Conradism. Drive a truck through there. Mm hmm. John Conrad would say, like, if somebody was worried about a shot, he'd be like, you can drive a truck through there. So. Got you. It's a good line. Oh! He has a number of good lines. Horrendous. That wasn't something he usually said. Mm. No? I sure wish there was a way for me to figure out how to... Alright. This is either going to be a highlight reel or disastrous. I love 
like the outcome. Yeah, yeah, hush. <laughs> Thank you for giving me another shot at it. You're welcome. <laughs> there you go. Oh, ugly. Yes. That's why I didn't go over there originally. I think even straight on and just a light better, tap. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. What can I make out of this? <laughs> okay. Nice. So those will cancel. Those will cancel. And you've got 15. Give me a shellac in there, young lad. 60 to 0. Shoot. Oh. Shoot is right. Nice shot. Call you Mr. Bump and Run. It's another good video. Tis. Through and it kind of sat there and little teased you a little trickling. and said, Mackenzie, maybe I won't fall. And then, oh, it fell. I'll have to. And I'm still in there talking smack <laughs> while you're shooting. I'll have to slow that one down and rewatch it. Oh, I don't know if you planned that or not. Totally planned. But that worked out really well for you. Still spinning. Nah, it's a rule I have to wait for that to finish spinning before I'm allowed to shoot. Still spinning. Shocking. That's worst case scenario right there. So, you get another 35. Talk about ripping the band-aid off slow. Should have ended it there with a 20. You are 95 to zero. Not only did we find a handicap that you're going to beat me, it looks like I'm shooting for, pr I call it shooting for pride at this point. I'm shooting to not get skunked. If I, when I hit a 20 off the bat, it's almost impossible. There was a guy that I used to, a guy that I used to play in a club against and we play doubles. And I'd hear him when he, whenever he'd say to his partner, "We don't need another twenty. We're far enough up." I would just grin because that was just that was like picking a fight. Attack that was just mode. like not not picking a fight, but it was just like challenge accepted. Oh, yeah. If you wanna if you wanna rest and play conservative, watch me because I'm just gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so yeah, you go ahead. Or you just that, else. You just yeah. You just sunk a twenty. So now you believe you've got it made in the shade. I guess that would be another handicap is you could let you could let a player just start the round with a twenty. Yeah, because that's I mean Oh maybe I should stop talking smack and just uh play. Ah That was an interesting outcome. Mm. 
I am in trouble. Ugh. <clears throat> I really could have used that one. I didn't want to do. That worked out well. For you. For me. Wow. I don't know. That is the correct amount of handicaps. I don't know what your editing skills are like, but you could potentially see if you can find a way to put black and white stripes on me right now. Got because it. you just skunked me. Does do you, does the air feel a little pugnant in here? A little, a little stanky? A little yeah. stanky? All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. And uh, thank you. One final, final time. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And uh, why don't you do the sign off? For those of you in your 30s, you're in your prime. That's not the sign off. <laughs> uh, enjoy playing the greatest game on Earth. Alright, again, with feeling. Uh, have fun playing the greatest game on Earth. Oh, I have taught you well. That's the sign off. <laughs>